This is a quick tutorial on how you can combine Motion Monkey and Monkey Cam Pro to create a procedural, keyframeless kinetic type animation. Since only one monkey control layer can exist per comp, there's a bit of a trick to it. There's a few ways you can approach it, but this one will focus on what we've been calling phantom layers in previous tutorials. These are layers that the camera references but are turned off or invisible. This technique will free you up from being limited to using just layer size to auto-frame your camera. Here's a quick example of the concept. I have a few layers here, and I want to get a camera move to look like this. If I just run Monkey Cam Pro without doing anything to the comp, I'll get this. So what I can do is create a few 3D solids that I scale and position, and I lock the layers that I want the camera to ignore. Even though they're the focus of the animation, I don't want Monkey Cam Pro to use them for auto framing. And now I set the UI and click Do It. And then make those layers invisible. It's very simple. The same technique can be used for rotation, or even to make a stationary camera, which you can then animate using the effects controls. A more elaborate application of this technique is to use it to combine a Motion Monkey animation with a Monkey Cam Pro build. To do this, I'll need to set up my project like this. First, I'll start with a comp made up of a layered illustrator file, an audio track, and two marker layers, one to trigger the words, and one to trigger the camera. I'm gonna make all the layers 3D and rasterize them, and lock anything I don't want to animate, in this case, the background artwork. Then I'm going to duplicate the comp, and I'll label one Motion Monkey and the other Monkey Cam Pro. I'm going to open up the Motion Monkey comp, set my preferences in Motion Monkey, and select the sync layer and click Do It. I'm going to set that aside and open up the Monkey Cam Pro comp, add some 3D solids and use them as phantom layers in the order and the position that I want the camera to move and lock everything else in the comp so the camera only sees those layers. I'll select my marker layer and build my monkey cam move. Lastly, I'll bring in my animated motion monkey comp into this one, solo it, rasterize it, and make it 3D. And the camera should move correctly in time with the motion monkey animation. Now I could add a background, make it 3D, add some motion effects, and render it out. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. I'll have what she's having. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. But why male models? Why so serious? I am serious. I don't call me sure. What we've got here is... And that's pretty much it. It's a quick, easy way to create a kinetic type animation using your layered art with Monkey Cam Pro and Motion Monkey. I hope you have fun with it.